If you love our classic video game vault series, make sure to check out our upcoming book based on the N64. Pre-order it now on Amazon. A lot of people don't know this unless you're an old school G1, but Castlevania was actually the first ever game put in the video game vault way back in 2006. So I thought with this special run of the vault to celebrate our new video game vault book, it would be a great time to revisit it. So here's the thing about Castlevania. To this day, some 30 years after its release, it's still ridiculously fun. There's so many quirky things I love about it. Why does Simon die in the demo? I don't know. Why does Simon eat meat that comes from the walls? But would you rather eat meat from ghost? No. Wall meat is way more appealing. And how do I know these guys are ghosts? Well, be because they're white and they got their hands up. Whoa, holy shit, those aren't ghosts. They're like ghoul guys or something. Huh, fuck me. The point is that this footage is beautifully upscaled to HD, but back in the day, you pretty much had to guess what the bad guys were. I mean, shit, literally up until recording this very vault, I thought these dudes were monkeys. People even would tell me, Craig, those are flea men, and I was like, Pfft, whatever, those are monkeys. I mean, go back and watch the first vault. I literally thought those were monkeys. I hate monkeys. But now, with wonderful HD upscaling, yeah, I can see they look like dudes. You ready for another beautiful thing about Castlevania? It's story. Yep, I mean, that's it. Dude walks up to a castle and it's go time. And as you make your way through the game, whipping the crap out of candles and bad guys, you get hearts and money to give you points. Now, points are a thing of the past in video games, but have you ever just stopped and think about why points were in Castlevania and other single player old school games? I mean, any guesses? You back there? No? no. It's because you were playing against yourself. You're trying to get better every time you play it. And one of the best ways to gauge your success outside of how far you got in the game is by your score. So you're beating that ass and you see good old Simon Belmondo, and by the way, yes, that is technically what his name says in the credits of the game. Anyways, good old Simon's making his way across the map. I mean, this was cool because it made you feel like you were doing something really important, like there was a bigger cause. Then you see Dracula's castle in the background and holy shit, that was epic back in the day. I mean, bad shit was going down. Like when you fought the Grim Reaper. I mean, look at this. How the hell is this fair? I mean, you walk in and you get bombarded by sickles just looking for your butt to sick, I, I guess. Like, what? How the hell did anyone pass this shit in 1987? Well, that's right. They played enough till they got good and stopped whining. And fuck you, Grim Reaper. Look, despite the absolute cruelty of Castlevania and how much I just despise the Grim Reaper fight, if you were to look up the word classic in the dictionary, you'd find a picture of Super Mario Bros. 3. But right next to it, close to it, yeah, would be Castlevania.